Hi guys! Hey everyone! Thank you for tuning in to Dana of All Trades. This is our fifth Table Talk Tuesday, number five. So, we got a crying baby over here. Pause. He's gonna be joining us. For those of you who don't know what Table Talk Tuesday is, it's a series that I started for my channel where we just come up with conversation starters and it's just like an initiative to start, you know, getting to know your loved ones better or anytime there's like a lull in conversation, you can refer to these questions or like have them in the back of your mind to just bring up to have fun things to talk about. Yeah. So we've actually done the table talk very often um, when we go on vacation. That's when it started, and now we reference it all the time. So it's just like turned into a thing where we just always just come up with new things to have conversations about. And it's always questions that we wouldn't normally ask. Right. You and think? you get to know people better. Yeah. Yeah. So special guest today, my cousin Jamie. Thank you Hello. so much for being here. Thanks for having and us. And she brought her son, JJ. Yeah. Say hey, man. Is this your first live? Yeah. Um, so today we want to know, I'm we're going to talk about... i than you are on that. Okay, good. We're going to talk about all things nostalgia. So Jamie likes to say that I'm obsessed with nostalgia. It's true, guys. I, I really am. Sia actually has an album called Nostalgic for the Present, and I just feel like that is that speaks to my soul so much. Like, I just <laughs> love, like reminiscing and I love like remembering memories and even so much that I love it in the moment where I'm like wow we're really creating a memory right now. <laughs> Has so, even passed yet. Yeah exactly. So I'm super obsessed with nostalgia. So we want to know what what makes you nostalgic. So is there a certain smell or a certain song or like just anything random that gets you nostalgic and what does it remind you of? Jamie, well, like, what are some things that you can think of? Music always makes me the most nostalgic. I will hear a song and it will instantly bring me back to like the first moment I heard it or the first time a friend of mine said the lyrics wrong or oh, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, something really funny that's associated with that. So music always does it for me. That's probably my biggest one. Are there like specific songs? A friend of ours, uh, she's really quirky. Her name's Kat, if you don't know her. <laughs> but she often sings the lyrics wrong, so I will not call her out for one of those. But she, uh, the song Amber, so it goes, whoa, amber is the color of your energy, she would go, whoa, and you'd be like, what? Like, thinking, you know, <laughs> you're about to hit a deer, and she'd be like, amber is the color of your energy. It was just the rest <laughs> of the lyric. There was nothing exciting happening, so um, there's a shout-out to you there on that one. Yeah. Um, songs, definitely. Songs are, like, I feel like a very easy thing to, like, bring nostalgia. So... Like, do you guys have songs? I feel like everybody has to have a song, whether it reminds you of a person or a time. Everything, like, John Legend just reminds me of, like, Neil Macoss, mm -hmm. but then, like, specifically, like, certain albums will remind me of, like, decades of our time together. So it's, like, it's, like, always, like... Broken down. Yeah, it's, like, broken down in chapters of, like, the John Legend albums. And, like, I don't know, just, like... Our wedding song is a John Legend song. So mm -hmm. it just, like, gets me so nostalgic. And I feel like... He even had a recent album, but Wakas didn't really listen to it. But even that album, I remember listening to it at our Huntington Beach apartment or uh, townhouse. And, like, I listened to it on repeat so much. So now every time I hear it, I think of, like... Where you were. Yeah, moving in. And, like, I was, like, painting and shit and listening to that album. So it reminds me of that. But, like, the other albums definitely remind me of, like, our wedding time. The one that has um, slow, slow Dance, that's our song, or like PDA. That whole album reminds me of like planning our wedding and then everything around our wedding. So, I mean, music that's adorable. definitely does that. Thank you. We love John Legend. <laughs> he sings the soundtrack of our life. Sounds like it. Um, other songs are like songs that remind me of my childhood. So, yes. like, yes. every hair band ever reminds me of my mom. Uh, every Beatles song ever reminds me of, like, childhood go growing up. Like, we, there was some radio station that always played the Beatles on the su on Sunday mornings. I don't even, I could not tell you what it was. But every Sunday morning, my uncle's ex-boyfriend that we lived with at the time would have the Beatles blaring. And uh -huh. so, every time I hear it, like, I'm reminded of that. That's, like, kind of when I first fell in love with the Beatles. And I feel like that's 
what makes songs nostalgic is like when you first hear them you yeah. remember like where you were or when you when it was first popular right so the Beatles are definitely yeah relevant. I'm an Elvis person I believe you're one or the other you have to be totally tell me if I'm wrong no facts um but so El- Elvis for me is definitely like my grandparents my parents like just you know growing up yeah we listened to a lot of Elvis in my household and then um just oldies in general, I feel mm-hmm. like oldies one oh four point three. Yeah, I'm doing the car with my grandparents. Now it's not even the same the station. Yeah, it's not. Well it's, it's our just... oldies right. for like the nineties. But yeah. yeah. So that was me and like I just remember being on like road trips and listening to oldies. Yeah. Um but yeah, that always makes me think of my grandparents. Obviously, you know, songs from their time. Totally. And then yeah, my mom is everything like disco and Really? Yeah. Like seventies. That's so that funny. reminds me of her. Uh, we grew up listening to, like, my mom listened to a lot of the headbangers, you know, like Guns N' Roses and, like, the hair bands, the 80s hair bands. Yeah. But, um, like, even with my brother, we have a few songs that are, like, super nostalgic. Shaggy so, it makes me think of oh your brother. Oh, my God. Shaggy, for sure. The song, It Wasn't Me, it's so inappropriate for it to be, like, a brother-sister song, but that was our motherfucking jam. And every time I hear it, it instantly takes me back to, like, ninth grade yeah like that it just was popular at the time and like we would dance to it and my uncle would be like oh put on Dana and Jonathan's song and we would dance to it <laughs> but also we did Zoot Suit Riot so we have like a little stupid like swing dance to that song so that this. always reminds me of like that time and my brother and then Man in the Mirror which unfortunately I've completely exiled Michael Jackson you know as of late R.I.P. more on that another time but man in the mirror was our jam and like even at his wedding they played man in the mirror and like he came looking for me and at my wedding i played it for him so it's just been like our thing so it makes me not nostalgic for like a specific time that makes me nostalgic for a specific person so we have a comment here from mary she said vanilla reminds me of my mom sometimes i catch a random whiff and i know she is near that's sweet I, there's, like, some study that scent is, like, the most related to your memory or something. Have you heard this? It sounds familiar. Okay. I don't know the actual study, oh, but I've memory. heard it in the past. And I completely believe it to be true because oh, sometimes yeah. there'll be a smell that reminds you of something. You can't even remember what it reminds you of, but it just makes you nostalgic. So, like, the smell of certain perfumes. Like, when yeah. when I was pregnant with Julian, I always wore pink from Victoria's Secret. And so, I haven't smelled that in years. But anytime I'm, like, in the store, I'll pick it up to smell it just to, like, take me back. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't remind me of, like, a specific moment. It just reminds me of, like, oh, I'm 16 and pregnant again. <laughs> I haven't been in an Abercrombie in a long time, but 8 from Abercrombie was, like, my oh, jam. Yeah. That yeah. was my favorite. I feel like that if was that so still fun. exists, someone can buy me a bottle. <laughs> I was do it. obsessed. Do it. Adidas perfume, I feel like. If that's still exists, Oh my god. That was my I feel 16 like, year old self. Yes. That was super popular back then. Dean okay. has a comment. Anytime I make tomato sauce brings me back to learning how to make Italian food when I was a kid with my grandma. Aww. Oh my god, I love that. Because when I think of nostalgia, I do like first think of songs yeah. or smells, but yeah, like the activities of certain things. Like um, my grandma was really into crafting, so ev- not every time I craft, but every now and then when I'm crafting, I'll think about like how she crafted, and she made scrapbooks for like every person in my family, and so I just feel like yeah, it's like a little way to like remember them, definitely, especially doing an activity because yeah. it's like they literally did this. Yeah, there's actually I was telling Dana this the other day, so there's a Netflix documentary called Chef's Table, and there's a chef in there who has a restaurant in Chicago. Uh, it's Alinea, but he has several Michelin stars. His name's Grant Ackes. I can't say his last name. But um, he found a way to create gases out of certain smells, and he puts them in a pillow, and then your dish is served on said pillow, and there's like a cloth over it, but he'll poke a couple holes in it, so that way when the dish is presented to you, it is then wafting the scent towards you. And then you're reminded of something. So, you know, when this you is crazy. when you have food, you know, you can see it, you can touch it, you can taste yes. it, you can do all these things, but you can never, you know, have this, like, memory associated with it necessarily from the smell. And so now it's like, oh, I smell this nutmeg. It reminds me of these cookies my grandma used to make. We need to try this. This sounds amazing. It's only $200 a person to dine there. That seems totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. I hope the food is 400 good. 400 if you add the wine pairing, I think it is. 
It's like every season makes me nostalgic for different reasons. And my friends can attest to this because we all play soccer and about like 10 times a year. Played soccer. Played soccer. Play no, all. we played one year. Like, <laughs> But it had such a distinct memory in our minds. But anyway, we played soccer and like 10 times a year I post in our group like it smells like soccer. It feels yeah. like soccer. It's just, it smells like it but it's a feeling too. And it's often like in spring, like there's like a crisp cool air mm -hmm. and like but like warm enough for like a nice jog not that I'm actually gonna jog <laughs> but like it's reminding me of that time so, we're all so doing the Indian ones. every time I, I have the same feeling I'm like it's soccer it's soccer season mm -hmm. it is upon us but I was thinking about that when I was thinking about like nostalgia and I realized that I have nostalgia for every season so it's like um fall always reminds me of like Friday Night Lights like okay. going to a football, football game or like school is just like new school, new beginning mm -hmm. and like new year, all that, like the excitement of that. And I guess I kind of relived that through Julian too. Like every right. new year has been like super exciting. Um, and then like winter is obviously like the holidays. Christmas, yeah. yeah. Being with family. And then summer is just like bonfires and 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And so it's like any, it's like. It's not all the days I'm nostalgic, but it's like the epitome, the quintessential <laughs> days in those seasons. I'm like, yes, this is spring. Yeah. It, is, it has arrived. <laughs> yeah. I definitely, I think the smell of fireworks, I get that. Yeah. Definitely, where I'm just like, oh, it's summer. Yes. The minute I smell fireworks. Or a bonfire, yeah. like a good bonfire. Well, yeah. summer and fall, but yeah. I'm trying to think of like a food my grandma always makes. Um, these cookies during Christmas time, they're almond crescents. I don't love them everybody necessarily, loves but everybody cookies. loves these cookies. So I guess anytime like I see her making them, like I know like, oh, we're prepping for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Like it, uh, it's an automatic, like, you know, turns on my memory. For yeah. That. No, that's so true. Like, it's like the beginning of the holidays. Mm -hmm. When Wakaz and I first got together, he's the one that turned me on to The Office, and I fucking love the show. Jamie hates the show. I hate it. Um, but, so, we would, we didn't have a lot of money, we didn't have, you know, anywhere to go, so we would stay at home and binge watch The Office. So now every time I hear The Office, like, opening, like, sound, mm -hmm. it brings me right back to there. Like, literally, like, Trailer Park, circa 2008, like, just watching binge watching the office and being like winter cuddled up nothing else to do <laughs> so it gets me nostalgic but like in a different way the office theme song makes me think of my old roommate maria watching it in the other room and i could hear it and i was always annoyed because i hate this show <laughs> Give so it a shot. Different. Everybody's spam jamie I've for hating tried, the guys. office i have tried it is not it's so my cup of tea it's so good love spell from victoria's secret it says sam uh Oh Teenage God, era. Yes. Yes. It do, isn't that like so like high school. Yes. Two thousand and four. Yes. I feel like that reminds me of my mom also. Yeah. Like just did it come out at that time? Like why was it so popular? While we're going back that old, uh, this just hit me. Bath and Body Works cucumber melon. Oh my God. No, yes. I was a plumeria girl. Okay. But yes, Bath and Body. That was like. Yes. That was like the era for it. I don't know if it was just like affordable for high schoolers or what. <laughs> it still is. It's like buy one, get five free. Uh, JJ says he was nostalgic for five minutes ago when his TT was kissing his face. <laughs> she always leaves lipstick on my face. And so when I see lipstick, I'm reminded of her. <laughs> right? That's a good one, JJ. <laughs> Another like show that gets me nostalgic but is just an amazing show is Friends. So I started... Yeah. I. I was so tardy to the friends party. Like, really? I literally didn't start liking friends until season 10. So, yeah. I started watching it, like, around that time. But then I started getting all the DVDs, like, back in the DVD day. Mm -hmm. I got all the seasons on DVD. This was so long ago. Like, seasons 9 and 10 weren't even on DVD yet. But so I got the seasons, and then I took them to college with me. I only went away to college for one semester. And so, friends... Always reminds me of that, like, ditching class to sit at home and binge watch <laughs> Friends. But then I came back home, and then Sam and I would binge watch, like, the rest of it. And she had already seen it, but I was, like, so unaware. But I remember, like, how epic it was mm -hmm. when Ross says Rachel. 
Like the whole time that that episode was playing, I remember Sam just looking at me like, waiting, waiting for it, for the reaction. <laughs> and she was just like, drops the mic and walks out like she had some kind of, you know, something to do with that scene. But it's like, so every time I like think of Friends, which I love Friends now, and it's like such a staple in my like history. It actually didn't even start until like I was like 18, but it reminds me of that time. I was real tardy to the Sex in the City party. Oh, I still haven't. I know. <laughs> we won't even talk about it. But, you know, it was like, I don't even know what year the show actually ended, but I didn't watch it until, like, 2011, 12. Like, it oh, was yeah. very recent. Yeah. And then, yeah, I was I binged all the seasons, like, instantly. Post way to do it. Post a breakup, you know, naturally. Yeah. So, yeah, I just fell right down the hall. Good. Real That's good the therapy. Party. Anything Emily Lisa? said, what? Anything Lisa Frank! Yes. yes! I love that it's making a comeback because, God, Lisa Frank takes me back, like, first grade. Yeah, like, like God. Little, little girl. Trapper Keepers. Yes. And Jesus, that is... Vibes. And, well, and Caboodles are back. Oh, I know. This, but, ra- this is slumber party for me. Like, yeah. grab your Caboodle, go to Libby Cahill's house. Yes. <laughs> Another thing that always felt like a kickoff to the holidays was Home Alone. Oh, I agree. You know, like, you just, you see it on TV, and you're like, yes, but yes. Christmas has arrived. Or, like, the 25 Days of Christmas that oh, are on, like, on ABC. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's just, like, these movies are so dumb, but you just gotta watch them, because it's just, like, what you do. Yeah, in the holiday it's like a rite of passage. Yeah. The skating rink. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That the skating is, rink. That alone is its own. Yes. Memory. Yes. I just took Bentley skating, I mean, not just, but, like, within the past year, and I was like, God, memories, all-nighters at Omni 41 or Starflyer. Yes. That was the place to be. All right, guys, we won't keep you much longer. Thank you for those that have joined us and participated, and please keep commenting below. And now you have one more question to add to your conversation lull repertoire. Yes. And when, uh, I think it's a good one. Every time you talk about nostalgia, you're just like thinking of like warm memories. Mm -hmm. But I'm also obsessed with nostalgia. That's true. Well, keep commenting below. We want to know what makes you nostalgic, what smells, what seasons, what movies, (laughs) what songs. (laughs) What else? What else we got, JJ? Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for joining. I gotta get up to end this. Oh boy. I gotta go around. JJ, you did so good.